In this video, we will be studying about the structure of the plant. Uh, flower, sorry. <laughs> Let's make the flower. See, the flower is on the stem, you can say. Right, there's a uh, something a green sort of thing uh, uh, under the flower. On that, there's a flower. Let's make a flower of red color, you say. Now these are some of the flower petals. Now I'm drawing a figure. That you might not understand now but I will let you know in couple of seconds. After making it. Now what am I doing? Right now, this is right. So now I have drawn the structure of flower. Now let's label this. These are the petals. We all know the petals of the flower. This part is known as anther. This uh, long tube is known as filament. This middle part is known as style. The, this part this inside brown color, grayish color part is known as ovary. Now these small small you know differences these are known as ovules. Now this part of green color is known as pedicle. This on the style there is again a big kind of uh, structure that is known as stigma. Right? <clears throat> now this uh, inside the flowers you might see a green green colors little little leaves these are sepal. And this middle part this part is known as thalamus. But this is the structure of the flower. Now these are various different scientific names that are given to it like petals, stigma, this all you have to understand. Now flowers vary in many ways. There can be many different colors, size, shape. So most flowers have the same basic structure. A typical flower has a stalk like, called a pedicle like this. Now which is joined to the stem. The uppermost part of the pedicle is wider and is known as thalamus. This part is wider. On the top of the thalamus, the different part of the flowers are arranged in rings or walls. Now the outermost consists of green leaf structure called sepal. This part. These protect the flowers when it is still a bud. Right. Next to the sepal are the petals. These are the petals of the flower. These are generally brightly colored and scented. You, when you smell the uh, flower, you get a good fragrance, right? So to attract insects that help in reproduction. If we remove the petals, we can see the stamen inside it, right? Now this whole part till this is known as stem. If you 
remove the petals this part is known as stamen now uh, there are the male parts of the flower each stamen consists of a thin green stalk or a filament now you will find if you will um, i mean like remove all these uh, petals you will find a very thin thin uh, you know lines of uh, some brown color so these are known as filaments with a bag like head called the anther now there will be a bag like head that is anther the other contains pollen grains which are fine dust like particles these take part in reproduction now in the center of the flower rises a flask shaped structure called the pistil or carpel this is a female part of the flower this part is known as pistil and this is known as the female part of the flower its base is slightly swollen and it is called ovary this part is known as ovary the short tubes like upper is a part is known as style and above it it is a stigma the stigma receives the pollen grains from the anthers these are the pollen grains from in the anthers inside the ovary are small bead like structure called ovules now how these one uh, the, if there is one flower grown on the plant how the other flower grows this is due to the reproduction of flowers that happen in the flower known as pollination right so this is the structure of the flower do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us